Joint Density of States by Devanch V. Mystery New work. New environment. New colleagues. Welcome. Today's overview. 1. Familiarize yourself with radiative and non-radiative transition. 2. Need of defining optical joint density of states. 3. Joint density of states. 4. Mathematical expression. Familiarize yourself with radiative and non-radiative transition. A radiative transition involves emission or absorption of a photon. As seen in the diagram, suppose, there is an electron in conduction band, say at a level E2, and a hole in valence band, say at a level E1, when this electron makes a transition from E2 to E1, the difference in energy is released in the form of a photon. Example E2 E1 equals H nu. It could also be a transition of an electron from valence band to conduction band. In case of a non-radiative transition, the energy difference is given in the form of phonon. This process dominates in indirect band semiconductors. As seen in the diagram, suppose there is an electron in conduction band and a hole top of valence band, wherever the electron wants to make a recombination with hole, then it has to make an oblique transition. This is not permitted by case selection rule as the transition should be vertical. In this case, delta K is very large and so the energy is released in the form of phonon. Need of defining optical joint density of states We know that density of states defines the number of allowed energy states per unit volume. To know or find the number of transitions or emissions, because that gives the number of photon emitted, we need to know the emissions per unit volume. This can also give an idea of the power emitted. The number of emissions per unit volume can be found by multiplying density of state into probability of occupations. Example, number of emissions, per unit volume density of states, into probability of occupation. Concentration of electrons in conduction band is given as first equation. Concentration of holes in valence band is given as second equation. Joint density of states and mathematical expression Suppose a radiation of energy H nu is incident on an electron sitting at a certain level valence band, E1, it makes a transition to a vacant state in conduction band, E2. This means that absorption involves a certain energy level in valence and a corresponding vacant state in conduction band. Similarly, if there is an electron, at a certain level, E1 dash, in conduction band and it make a transition in a vacant state at a level, E2 dash, in valence band, a photon with energy H nu dash emitted. We can thus say that absorption and emission involve a state in valence band and conduction band. For a photon interaction, we have one state in valence band and one state in conduction band and so we define joint density of states that takes care of number of states for a given energy H nu. For a fixed incident energy H nu, if E2 is fixed then E1 will also be fixed. For a given energy H nu, there are several pairs of E2 minus E1, and so there are no of pairs of states available for a photon of energy H nu to interact and this is given by density of states. Since the absorption or emission takes place from the top of valence band and bottom of conduction band respectively, we can have a parabolic approximation as E2 equals EC plus H cut square into K square upon 2 MC, for any level in conduction band with least level as E2. E1 equals EC minus H cut square into K square upon 2 MV, for any level in valence band with maximum level as E1. The energy of photon H nu is given by H nu equals E2 minus E1.
now putting all values with some mathematical steps gives us expression for optical joint density of states for band to band or interband transitions it is required that h nu is greater than eg the plot of z of nu versus e is as below Learned objectives. Radiative and non-radiative transition. Joint density of states. Applications. Made by Devanch Mystery. Contact information is as shown. Any questions? Please fill up query form on below link.